No one can belt out a tune like the birdie and he's back in town for a special honor. Reporter Mahalia Joseph and cameraman Joel, Joel Phillip caught up with the mighty sparrow earlier this afternoon at the Piaco International Airport as he stepped off a flight ahead of tomorrow's ceremony to award him the country's highest honor at an apple. Dr. Slinger Francisco, better known as the Mighty Sparrow and affectionately dubbed the Birdie, has been the unrivaled Calypso King of the World with a career that spans over 40 years and counting. The Mighty Sparrow has earned his rightful place as King of the Calypso World by defeating every other competitor to his throne. Today, Sparrow says he's more than happy to be back home and he's very grateful to be the recipient of the nation's highest award the Order of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago. Feeling is one of gratitude and thanks. I feel to sing a song and all. I am happy, happy like Papi, to know that my country recognizes me. Throughout his career, the Mighty Sparrow has received numerous awards. Before this honor, in July 2001, a statue of the Calypso King was installed in the community of St. Anne's. He says while he's here, he will be visiting some of his usual spots. We have a couple of shows to do. And after that, you already know we're always in the mass camp. And after mass camp, we have to do a couple of other things, yeah. hustle back to New York to fulfill some contractual arrangements and after that, come right back. And the birdie says he never gets tired of requests for songs. I don't have a problem with saying hello to my fans who have been praying for me when I was sick in the hospital and, and I, I ready to sing a song for them any time. And of course, we could not end our interview without the birdie leaving us a verse or two. Trinidad and Tobago will always live on. Colonialism gone. Our nation is born. We're going to follow our leaders. They always do their best. Together we aspire, together we achieve, and we bang to be a success.